Okay, Kartikeya, you had asked a uh, doubt about this. Uh, the distance of the point minus root two comma two uh, comma root two from the line common to the pairs uh, and the two pairs of lines here is yeah. so you right rightly uh, identify that we need to find the common pair of uh, common line to the, the the line that is common to both these pairs but the issue is uh, you got stuck with how to go about it right so let's go back to um, how we started pairs of lines yeah so consider we have ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equal to 0 you know we divided by x square to get b times y by x whole squared plus 2h times y by x plus a equal to 0 then if you remember we replaced y by x with m and we got this equation bm squared plus 2hm plus a is equal to 0 so this is a quadratic equation in m and if you do uh, the same process with both these equations you will get two quadratic equations in M. Now since both these pairs of lines represents lines that are passing through the origin yeah, all of them have the form y equal to mx or rather m is equal to y by x. In other words the roots of these equations, the, the two equations that you get are precisely the slopes of the lines represented by the joint equations that are given. So now what you have is two quadratic equations in M such that um, they have a common root. Yeah? And so now we go to our theory of uh, equations. So if I have a1 x squared plus b1x plus c1 equal to 0 and a2 x squared plus b2x plus c2 equal to 0, the condition that these two quadratic equations will have a common root is right here. Uh, this is directly from the class notes and so uh, here we have to find the common root but remember the root is in terms of m so we have to find the common value of m once we find the common value of m we know the line that is passing through the origin and we can find the required distance